good day, and welcome. This is Wednesday, July 7th. I am Renee Thomas, and today we want to bring to you a special report on the situation in Haiti on the island of Hispaniola. We have some things to bring to you, a lot of information, so please get comfortable. We invite you to really listen in, make sure you have something to drink. We want to break this down. And because we are a, a podcast where we talk about spiritual matters as well, we invite you to send your positive energy to this beautiful country that so needs it. Once again, I am Renee Thomas, your host of Oracle's News Radio. Please share this podcast with your friends and family on email and social media. We want you to be a part of our community who is in the know. The more you are informed, the better prepared you can be. We are a news podcast featuring current events, oracle and prophetic news, and astrology forecasts that include the current energy climate within the country and our world. Our viewpoint is progressive, so our commentary will reflect this. We have a lot to cover and a lot to talk about, and you can chat with us in the chat room while we are live and on the air. We want you to be reminded that you can listen to your favorite podcasters and watch awesome movies on Prime TV using your very own Fire Tablet with HD display. Visit the information box of this podcast for details. Today, we're going to dive into the situation in Haiti. Um, we want to welcome back recent listeners in the following company, countries. And if you want to hear your country called out and you're from somewhere else, then send this podcast to those people in your country and we can call them out as well. Welcome back members, sending members of United States, Ethiopia, the UK, Hong Kong, India, Egypt, Jordan, United Nations, United, not United Nations, United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, Nigeria, Sweden, Turkey, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, Norway, Czechia, France, Germany, Brazil, Belgium, South Africa, and Ukraine. Thank you for listening. You can learn more about our company through our parent company website at anointedgroove.com. Let's get started. So the Haitian president, Jovenel Moise, has been assassinated. The title of this production is The Pathology of a Nation in Crisis. Haiti, the first black republic and former slave nation who gained freedom from France and initiated self-rule in 1804 after a bloody revolution, has since seen many challenges after being forced to pay France for their freedom, struggling to form itself with sketchy support from other nations, suffering under a history of exploitation, selfish oligarchy, spiritual conflicts, billions of dollars disappeared in oil subsidies, even though they have, are said to have their own billions in oil reserves, and the nationwide case of PTSD as a result of all the trauma the nation has experienced as a people. Yet this is a country of a people filled with pride, a people filled with love for each other, a people with, people with a culture of sharing, and a people with a culture of enjoying and appreciating life. This is a country that is not to be ignored. These are people that believe in, that believe in fighting for their freedom. They are people that are much more deserving than what they are receiving at this time. Recent findings have shown Haiti to have some of the largest oil reserves in the world, billions of dollars of gold, and deposits of copper. Jovenel Moise was elected president in Haiti and says his term was to end or is to, was supposed to end February 2022, after which an election would determine the next president. He came into a country that had been promised billions, only received half of what was promised after the last of the national disasters and mostly none of it was used for much needed infrastructure, jobs and homes. Most of the people of Haiti live off of less than $2 a day and violence plagues the beautiful mountainous land 
that has so much potential and I myself would love to take a role in a think tank to help catapult it to the next level. Moise himself said in an interview that the state of Haiti is trapped by socioeconomic crisis that existed prior to the earthquakes and is controlled by a few unnamed oligarchs that benefit from the country's money. He stated these oligarchs finance the opposition, they are also unnamed, all the way down to the t-shirts that the protesters wear and that he is up against or who was up against a corruption machine. In this interview that we listened to from Moise, he claimed no systematic abuse by Haitian police, though there were a few isolated instances of misconduct. And he stated that those opposition groups that seek to gain power through non-democratic means are posing as human rights groups to speak out against him, except for Amnesty International, with whom he wants an interview. He also, or wanted an interview. He also has asked the UN for $400 million to go to the victims of the cholera brought by the UN and for the children fathered by employees of the UN while they were in Haiti. When asked why his company received $1 million one week after he was named successor for his political party, he stated that as an entrepreneur, the company he was affiliated with had contracted loans that needed to be paid back. However, when he accepted the position as a political leader, the money was paid because of the loans that had to be paid back, and he had to resign from his company. He claimed this not to be a suspicious transfer. Haitian's foreign minister, Claude Joseph, says it is not Moise who states when his presidency will end, but the Constitution, particularly Article 134.1 of the Haitian Constitution. Joseph claims he says false statements are coming from those who are impatient and cannot wait their turn to become president. His foreign minister says he will not be a candidate, that is Moise, or, well, we know he won't, but he was not planning to be a candidate in the upcoming elections. And he also stated that in a recent poll, 80% of the people of Haiti wanted a new constitution and to elect a new president via elections in September, October 2021 for the new president to be in power in 2022. His opposition states his provisional presidency was supposed to end February 7, 2021, and they have appointed his replacement, who is a Supreme Court judge with a lifetime appointment to the courts. They say that Moise was a dictator that sought to change the constitution to remain in power. Moise has, has since retired prior to his untimely death. He retired that judge and two others, one of whom was arrested, claiming that they were a part of a coup and an assassination attempt. With regard to elections and constitutional changes or referendums, per the Haitian Prime Minister, the 2015 elections were ordered to go into a second round per law as no candidate received over 50% of the vote, though Moise received the highest percent of 32.81. The second round was postponed and an interim president, not Moise, was appointed in February 2016 with new elections scheduled for later in the year in 2016. Moyes received the majority, 55.6% of the votes in 2016 elections and took office in 2017. The first election in which Moyes was elected was determined to be fraudulent. There was an additional election which he won and thereby was determined to serve for five years as president. However, due to the claims of fraudulent elections and the postponed election, there were disagreements about when Moise's term should end. When legislative elections were delayed, Moise stayed on to rule by decree 
even though other reports state he only served his five-year term per the Constitution and was not on the same terms as other elected officials whose terms were ending. Therefore, there is a level of disagreement in Haiti surrounding legislative terms and president's terms and many of the general public believes the president's terms ends at the same time as the legislator legislative terms though he claims he the president claims he is on a different timetable per the constitution that was to end in 2022 many haitians are also upset about increasing violence kidnappings and lack of justice that began before Moise's reign but got worse after it. Moise even declared some protests as acts of terrorism. Just days ago, Moise had chosen his seventh prime minister to tackle violence. He, is, he had proposed constitutional changes, some say against his party's wishes, to include gaining more presidential power, abolishing the prime minister role protecting the president from impeachment and persecution prosecution and shrinking the legislature regarding appointments of supreme court judges in haiti removal of supreme court judges who have life appointments is typically not heard of the united states embassy in haiti and the un state that President Moise violated the rule of law by retiring judges with life appointments. The Haitian foreign minister basically stated that President Moise had no choice since these judges were orchestrating illegal activities against him. There is also gang violence and the Haitian people not liking the American policy toward their country. Pierre Esperance of the National Human Rights Defense Network said in a translated interview that Moise is no longer working with the police but was using local gangs to control the streets. Gang leaders now walk around freely in Haiti. Haitians in America, like Catherine Bouteau, have spoken to PBS that their parents or her parents, a bureaucrat and a surgeon, and family members and friends who were not a part of the opposition, but who have spoken out against Moise, were pulled from their beds and imprisoned in the middle of the night for speaking out against him. They were accused of plotting a coup and were imprisoned for nearly two months. This Haitian in America says those who are massacring Haitians at the behest of the government walk freely while concerned non-political civilians are imprisoned for expressing their opinions. The people are likening Moise's rule to the authoritarian leaders like Francois Duvillier, known as Papa Doc, and his son Jean-Claude or Baby Doc, where many human rights abuses occurred under their rule for almost 30 years. Haitian citizens say that under Moise's regime, things are even worse because he has destroyed many of Haitian's institutions. So this adds to the trauma that has been experienced by the Haitian nation. And it helps to explain their reactions to what they consider to be a move against their civil rights. Some Haitians say Biden promised to help Haitians and he has not kept his promises as he has sided with Moise and that they should do as Cuba did many years ago and align themselves with Russia. Haitians National Human Rights Defense Network have publicly expressed disappointment in Biden's views toward Haiti. Bochit Edmond, the Haitian ambassador to the U.S., says that President Moise did not decrease the legislature their terms ended. He did not extend his own term. His term is five years per the Constitution. He is not controlling gangs. Many of them are controlled by private citizens and enterprise. Edmond also says for the last 25 years since they have become a democracy, the, the people have not trusted the election results 
and elections in Haiti are always contested. He said they will have people who only get 1% of the vote and the people will say they stole even those. If gang members are in prison, they are quickly released due to their ties to the government or so thinks the Haitian civilians. The youth group that is translated in English, We Will Not Sleep, is calling for a transitional government that they wanted to replace Moise before the next election. The assassination plots, though there are many alleged coups and plots, apparently pro proved Moise to be at least correct in part with regard to the fact that he was assassinated today, July 7th, 2021. We looked at Moise's astrology. Moise has a birthday listed as June 26, 1968. He is a hardworking, family-loving cancer. He has three sixes in his birthday, making him highly creative, explains him being an entrepreneur, and he has the missing arrow in numerology of the three, five, and seven, which can cause some skepticism or lack of compassion. His Pluto conjunct palace, Uranus conjunct Pluto, and Neptune sextile Pluto and Capricorn creates a work ethic toward justice or what he feels is right. His palace, Vesta and Libra, legal signs, all political pieces seem strongly rooted in traditional justice. Neptune retrograde and Scorpio would make him very realistic about his own death and Mars and Gemini conjunct Mercury retrograde in Gemini which could be a problem was offset by his son and Venus in Cancer it truly seems that at least astrologically Moise's demise was caught up in a false narrative confusion general weather conditions and the lack of solid mainstream voice and a reason to steer the minds of the people of Haiti. So what does Haiti need? Haiti needs a strong panel of people who know exactly how to express themselves and what to do. They need to have people who can come together in a think tank to, to create policies to first find a way to secure and feed the people of Haiti to make sure that they not only have clean water now, but they are creating the means to have clean water in the future for themselves, to be self-sustained, to find the money that is missing, to create jobs for the people, not only mining jobs, but training jobs so that they can become self-sufficient. They, of course, need to establish their government and their judicial systems. And we have to look at the people. All people are not ruled in the same way as others. Sometimes if you want to change things, you have to change it with the children and rise them, raise them up so that they can then adopt the truth. So education is needed. But this is a very crowded country. And something needs to be done about that. We need to come up with ways to deal with that. We're dealing with a country that is prone, that is on at an, an earthquake fault. We're dealing with a country that is prone to erosion and, and prone to flooding. So there are natural systems and surveyors that, and engineers that are needed. People who are not looking to make so much, but are coming in to help a country that has so much potential even in in tourism once the judicial system and the security system is put into place there is so much potential for this beautiful beautiful country all of the spiritual systems both christian and vodun need to learn to live and work in harmony and we need to work together as a world to not only to help this country by providing assistance 
but to teach them and educate them on how to help themselves and to assist them with getting to where they want to be and how they see themselves. If the leaders could just imagine a beautiful Haiti where everybody has something, where you don't need to live in a palace if that is going to take over all of the funds for the rest of the country, where you can live comfortably so that everybody can live comfortably, so that you can establish all of the systems that you need so that everybody has, and so that people can begin to heal from the trauma of living in a country that is the black, first black republic in the world. This completes our show today. We want to thank you listeners from whichever platform you are enjoying. Remember to visit us at anointedgroup.com. Tell someone you listen to Oracle's News Radio and learn something important because if you do, you can rest assured that the both of you and those you bring to us will enjoy the facts and nothing but. Until next time. <laughs>